the I Can't Swim writer is going to help pin the Dawn of the Jedi movie. Hollywood Reporter has recently revealed that Bo Williman, who Star Wars fans know for his Emmy-nominated work on Andor Season 1, is teaming up with James Mangold, director of the Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny movie, to co-write Lucasfilm's upcoming Star Wars movie that is tentatively known as Dawn of the Jedi. Alongside his expected return for Andor Season 2, Williman received acclaim for writing Episode 10 in the first season, which included the poignant I Can't Swim moment, as well as, and honestly, this Luthen Rails monologue is one of my favorite pieces of Star Wars dialogue, period, in the history of this entire franchise. It's that good. Mm-hmm. Um, he has an Oscar nomination for The Ides of March, and he also has his role co-creating House of Cards on Netflix with a little guy you may know as David Fincher. Mm-hmm. Um, Willman brings a wealth of experience to the project. Dawn of the Jedi is going to be exploring the origins of the Jedi and the Force. This marks a significant collaboration for both Willman and Mangold and will certainly have an impact on Star Wars canon going forward. There is no release date. We really don't have a lot of information about the movie. It's been announced. It is moving forward. Um, My opinion is this is a top-level hiring decision. Uh, Bo Willimon has an amazing track record. I don't know, you know, the Kevin Spacey of it aside, House of Cards was a phenomenal, you know, series. The original BBC version is great. The version that they did on Netflix was really, really good. Um, His work on Andor is outstanding. Like I said, that monologue from Luthen working with Tony Gilroy. Um, So the trend I'm seeing here is pair an amazing writer with an amazing director and let the magic happen. Imagine that. You know, (laughs) yeah. Tony Gilroy and, you know, Bo Williman for Andor. James Mangold, who, you know, not only Indiana Jones, but the the Logan movie that, you know, is so good. These are great creators that have a synergy and have the ability to kind of lift each other up and ra- elevate each other's craft. And I think that's really cool. I also think for a movie like this and the the topic that it seems to be headed towards, the origins of the Force, let's let this have that ancient epic feel to it. Mm-hmm. We watched a couple of weeks ago, we watched The Ten Commandments. I watched that movie a ton growing up. Gone with the Wind, Godfather 2 even, the scope of an epic movie that focuses on something that's lore building like that just seems like something designed for two people like Mangold and Bo Willeman. Like let's let that go. So here's my question. We always love to play these. What other writer director combo would you like to see Mm -hmm. doing a similar thing, elevating star Wars in new ways? Ah, that is, that's a good one. You know, I, you, you did reference the, the magic that happens. And if you look at the empire strikes back as an example of Mm -hmm. Irvin Kirshner and George Lucas and, um, and, uh, cats and, and everybody who was involved in that, just an amazing, amazing, a lay, lay, lay bracket with her, her first draft, which, Mm -hmm. which changed that story. But who would I love to, I, you know, I don't, I would honestly, I would love to see Ryan Johnson again, but what about, here's a crazy one, Ryan Johnson directing mm-hmm. um, a Dave Filoni written story. Cause look, I love Dave Filoni. He's, right. he's, you know, we, I hate to sound like the Dave Filoni fan club, but I mean, he's, <laughs> he, we are and it's fine. He, <laughs> he studied under George, right? So he yeah. brought some amazing things, but take, but I think some of the live action stuff has been not, not bad, but not the best of the stuff mm-hmm. the seasons he's been involved in. Hand it over to Orion Johnson, or honestly, well, better yet, Spielberg. Let's get Spielberg directing a Filoni movie, and you yeah. have an unstoppable <laughs> Star Wars movie. All, all the nostalgia with kids in it. Focus on some, for. focus yeah. on some Padawans, right? So Spielberg yeah. can pull that kid stuff that he can do, and um, have Filoni be bringing the lore and. Uh, we have, I think, just about the perfect Star Wars situation. It, it, you can't lose anyway. It's more sure. Star Wars, right? <laughs> exactly. It's more Star Wars. Star Wars.